morning, good morning, and welcome to Vlogmas Day number nine. I have not been to sleep since I ended Vlogmas Day number eight. I'm so tired. It's 5.15 a.m. and I am at JFK Airport getting ready to head to Boston. Oh, exhausted. <sighs> I need a nap. My body is fighting against me. I have the sniffles. Like, I have a cold. I just need to get some rest. Sleep. But as soon as I get to Boston, I guess I'll go in the crew lounge and relax for like an hour. <sighs> Y'all tell me, do I look like how I feel? Because this head cold thing, I'm just sneezing and being all nasty like. <sighs> oh, goodness. I brought some medicine with me. What is this? Would I like to welcome all the customers at the board this time or at the Sinus Max. Severe congestion relief. Is this going to make me stop sneezing now? Damn. Alright. I'm on board. It's like 25 people on this flight or something. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> so I pretty much have this whole world to myself. I can have the whole plane to myself. <laughs> I'm going to take a little mini nap. It's just JFK to Boston. It's like... 30 minute flight, maybe 40. Can't wait to get to Aruba though. Actually, I can wait to get to Aruba. I'm just ready to get on that plane and lay that seat back and go to sleep. Ladies and good morning. Welcome aboard Deadpool Flight 318 with service to Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna ask you to please, please just. Y'all, I was knocked out on that little 19 minute flight, is what it really felt like. <sighs> All right, now I got about an hour to sit here in Boston and then I can really go to bed. <laughs> about to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubt. Now wait till we get in the air so I can. So, y'all know I work in the mid cabin, so I'm already used to this, but I never do the island turns, and they have completely different menus for the island, so I am a little excited to try some of the food, even though it's probably not going to be keto friendly, so we'll see. Honestly, y'all, I've been saying it all morning. All I want to do is go to sleep. That's all I want to do.
right, people. Say hi to Roberto. What's good? We How just doing? <laughs> we just picked up the rental car. We're about to head to the hotel and get out of these hot clothes. <laughs> like, good lord. But I'm ready to eat. You turn? Oh my gosh. Okay. So sorry. he shouldn't be driving. He's one I'm of those drivers. Sorry, <laughs> anyway, see y'all at the hotel. I am a mover. Oh, we're here. Yep. I'm excited, but I'm still in these hot clothes. So I need to script. Oh, yes. Cool. Friends. I want this side. Okay, good. I was hoping because I like this side too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all. So I'm fresh out the shower. Roberto's showering now. Um, I looked at this view and it is so trash. So trash. Like construction. But, but, but that's okay. That's okay. You can't always get a nice view everywhere. And I know the hotel has other really nice views, but those rooms cost a little bit more than what Alexia's Pretty Penny wanted to afford. So, um, I need to do the giveaway because I went to Zara yesterday and got a little gift card. Well, that just looks like a white paper bag because that's what they give it to you in. But, um, so I know I told y'all you know, my hand is tired of holding this. Hold on. All right, y'all. So this is giveaway time. The first, first giveaway of Vlogmas. Like I told you all on Vlogmas Day 1, I would be doing four giveaways in the month of December. And it's Alexia's favorite things. So the first one is, can y'all see that? It's a Zara gift card. Yay! So I told you all also that to qualify... For Vlogmas, you needed to be subscribed, one, to my YouTube channel, um, following me on Instagram, alexianicole.life. Um, that's really it. I don't care about all those other social medias. I don't have them. Um, well, I do have Facebook, but that's private. That's for me, family, and close friends. That's it. Um, and then to qualify, the main thing I said that I would ask you all a question that had to do with the Vlogmas videos so the question that i need you all to answer is and you can find this somewhere in between vlogmas day one to vlogmas day seven the question is how many years have i had denver and aspen i'll give you a hint you can find it in vlogmas day four all right so whenever you do um see this video i will leave this open for a week so this it'll be posted sunday right today saturday yeah yeah so this video will be posted sunday so i will leave it open for one week until next sunday so i will post a picture on my instagram with me holding this cute little box and i need you to comment down below and tell me how many years i have had aspen and how many years i have had denver all righty Zara, oh, did I tell you? I told y'all what this is, right? It's a Zara gift card. I think I'm pretty sure I said that. All right, anyways, I'm about to go rush Roberto out of this shower because I am hungry, okay? And then later on, we're going to meet up with another one of my friends that you all have met before. His name is Medine. He was in my video, um... He was in my mainline versus regional flight attendants video that it was myself, him, and Fawn. We did that video. So he's actually here in Aruba too. He got here today. He's staying at a different hotel, but we're going to all meet up tonight and like hang out or whatever. But I need to get some food in my system. So I will see y'all in a bit. Ooh, this is where I need to be. Games, bro. Games. What's good? Say hi to Lily. I have a YouTube vlog. You want to say hi? Hi. All right. So we are headed to 
this area is called South Beach, I think it's, or that's the name, I don't know. Oh no, no, this is called the Palm Beach area. And we're going to some little bar club with live music and they had like a little McDonald's stand that we want to go look at too. So let's go. Look at how cute this little thing is. tonight but let me do the reason for the season bible verse before we end vlogmas day eight this is actually a long one so listen up we have luke 1 1 through 17 many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitness and servants of the word with this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theopolis, so that you may know the certainty of things you have been taught. The birth of John the Baptist foretold. In the time of Herod the king Judah, there were a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abaha? His wife, Elizabeth, was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all of the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. Once Zechariah's division was on duty, and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by Lot according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And then the time for the burning of incense came. All the assembled worshipers were praying outside. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But then the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord." He is never to take wine or other fermented drinks, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord, their God, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make a ready and people prepared for the Lord. Amen. Oh, that was a long one, y'all. I, I, sh I should have read that earlier. <laughs> 
Um, but I just kind of want to end out um, Vlogmas Day 8 with a recap on day one of Aruba. It's amazing. Y'all, maybe I'm just not great at geography. Not even a maybe. Like, I'm really just not great at geography. It's like I fly around, but I couldn't tell you if we're going east, west, north, south. Like, I have... I'm just not that great at it. But I literally had no idea that Aruba was such a Spanish, Dutch, uh, Latin field island. Like, it's literally right on the edge of Venezuela. Like, there's... Who knew? I really just thought this was, like, a Caribbean island. Like, this is why you have to travel and learn places. Like, I have been learnt today okay because i i honestly had no clue i had no clue because i don't think i've ever if you thumbs up this video not even thumbs up because i can't tell if you have ever met somebody in life that says yeah i'm from aruba comment down below and let me know because i we were while we were sitting out there talking and having a good time we were really like i don't think we've ever met anybody that have ever just said yeah i'm from the island of aruba you know like you just don't know like a lot in detail about this island so I'm really glad that I'm here and I'm learning um our hotel is beautiful it's in downtown Aruba like the island is literally it has like one main road and a few like drop off streets but it's it's a small island um the people are beautiful and nice our hotel is located downtown we're staying at the renaissance Aruba Hotel and Casino, I believe is the, the title of it. So they have three portions of the hotel. They have the Marina Hotel, which is where we are. Then they have Ocean Suites, which is where like they have all the kids activities, more kid family friendly on that side. Keep the children over there. Let me enjoy myself over here. And then they have Renaissance Island, which is they take, it's actually like a little boat ride away. And that's where Flamingo Beach is. And they have like the little... The little, you know, them cute little hut style, Tahiti style hotel things on the water, you know, that 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 stuff. So it's really, really nice. Um, the only thing that I would change about this hotel is just like the location that it's in. It's downtown Aruba and we're really the only main hotel around here. They have really great shopping, of course. All the luxury stores. I'm going to hit Zara tomorrow because Zara was right around the corner. Um... But when we went to pick up Medine and Lee tonight, they are closer to where like nightlife and tons of restaurant and food and where more of the locals are. And that's where like all the like hotels are. Medine and Lee are staying at the Ryu Palace. Um, so it's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I think Roberto and I are going to go to this place, um, Day Palm Island. It's like a little island off of Aruba that has like activities and it's like a all-inclusive little island for like a hundred bucks or something. They got zip lining, open bar, food, unlimited. It's open from like nine to five. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we may do that tomorrow. Um, but right now I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can edit it and have it up for y'all in the morning because it is, oh, sweet Jesus, it's 2.56 a.m. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed Vlogmas Day 8. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.